All right, we're back in. We're back in on the podcast. Exciting things. Yeah, very exciting. So uh, Andrew was the first person to get these. It's a new round. It's a new set of lightning round questions. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Andrew got them first last week, and then uh, you're only the second person to experience them. Oh, my God. Toss, toss. Toss, toss. Exactly. <laughs> the beautiful thing about the video, too, is people can actually see oh, the yeah. toss, toss uh, now. Look see? at that. That's right. <laughs> Amazing. All right. So um, first question, what, if you, uh, it's your birthday, what flavor of birthday cake do you get? Um, chocolate. Really? Yeah. Like a heavy, dark, like double like chocolate? A double chocolate, really thick and, and, and um, bitter. Really? Yeah. Now, is, I also, I always add this to that question. Um, do people know that about you? I don't think so. Okay. Interesting. I, I don't really eat a lot of cake. Yeah, true. I'm more of a pie person, personally. Oh, like a good pumpkin pie. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, there it is. <laughs> Love it. Uh, if you could have dinner with one person who is living, who would it be? Oh. Um, oh, that's a... Okay. I would say... Michelle Obama. Cool. I never, like, literally would never thought that, but thinking about it, like, she would be someone I would love to just, like, pick that brain or be like, what happened? Yeah. Like, what? Why? (laughs) Totally. Well, that's interesting, and I think it would work well because Andrew last week said Obama. Oh, get out. So you two can. Oh, my God. (laughs) Wherever they're living together. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) (laughs) No, but I think I, I love what she's. Yeah. She's done outside of the presidency and I, I don't know I think she would just be oh, I just want to hear her story totally such an yeah. interesting person yeah. Uh, yeah. cool now one person you can have dinner with one person but they're dead Maya Angelou oh yeah you oh. had that one ready to go I did so you're a big fan I I love her I I, I really didn't get into her, her s- quotes and her her life until like a few years ago I always like knew that she was a wonderful woman and a very insp- inspirational woman but I didn't know why Yeah. and then just every, everything her quotes just hit me at a great place that's cool and I like when someone can hit me like that yeah and yeah. I go whoa yeah I worked with a, a director Andrew Kushner who used the word uh, being punctured yeah and I really love that like whether it's a piece of theater that's how he kind of speaks to as a director it's like you did something in this scene and it really punctured me. And I, I've always kind of like stuck with that. Cause it's, yeah. When you hear a quote or you hear a thing where you're like, Whoa, that's a, yeah. It's from a complete stranger. And you're like, you have that effect on me. Yeah. There's a, it's kind of cheesy, but I really like it. There's a great quote that goes, um, great writing puts into words, something you've known your entire life. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Where you're just like, oh, I feel that, but you just said it. Like yeah. That, How did yeah. you say that? Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Um, so if you could take your fi- your senses, you eat like t- touch, taste, all those things. Yeah. And we get to ramp one of them up to like superpower. Which one do you ramp up? Taste. Yeah. Oh, so like all the flavors of the whatever flavors. the thing is? Yeah. Because yeah. I love to cook. Oh, really? Oh my gosh. It's a new passion that I found in the last two years. Cool. Yeah. So if I could amplify, because... If I could taste things that I don't like and I like them, that would be very cool. Very cool. Like mushrooms. Yeah. Hate them. Really? Yeah. Interesting. That's very interesting also as well. Now, this is a selfish question, but just we've chatted about you doing the keto thing. Yeah. How has that been with your love for cooking? Do you find that frees up and opens more things for you? It's been making me cook a lot more. Cool. And it's and I love that. Yeah. It gets me in the kitchen more. Definitely. Yeah, it's, a tr- it's an interesting one like that because I've looked into it and it's something I'm interested in trying, but you're like, I'm going to have to cook more for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. you got to like to look, you got to like to cook. Definitely. <laughs> uh, what would you do with one extra hour in the day? Sleep. Yeah, just another, yeah. Another hour, yeah. I've always been a sleeper. Like, I love to sleep in. I lo- Like, even today, I was like, God, I could just use one more hour of sleep. Totally. But, you what know, it doesn't do? have, what are you going to do? Yeah. That's funny. A sleeper. I get that. I think I'm yeah. a sleeper, too. Yeah. Like, really, when it comes down to it, like, looking at my morning and everything, there's nothing wrong with this laying in bed. And I was talking to Tim, actually. He was saying how, he's like, man, if I lay in bed too long, I start to just kind of get antsy. And I'm like, I've never experienced that. I mean, I can get antsy from, like, you know, if I if I've had like a ten hour sleep, okay, I'm gonna. But just being in bed and not having to go somewhere, yeah. like I can just turn off my clock. Totally, that would be great. great. I liked that the hand. Sorry for the people listening on the podcast, but yeah. the video people, the being in bed hand motion was great. Yes, yes. Um, cool. Dream vacation destination. Oh, um, Fiji. Cool. I've always wanted to go to Fiji and have one of those hotel rooms on the ocean. Yeah. Like it's so it's so Kardashian of me to say, 
but like there's something so blissful that like and it's things like I could never aff- ah, no I could afford that one day but I can't right now you can make that happen I can make that happen I love somehow it. I've never heard well, I guess that I'm not great with my punctuation but did you use Kardashian as an adjective there I did. Yeah, good yeah. on you. I loved it. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> Hamilton of another person's life, who would it be? So like Hamilton the musical, but okay, it's someone like, else's life. Oh, like who I would like you, to see? You would see? love to see, yeah. Ooh. Um, I would love to see Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep. Could you imagine? Streep. Like oh, Street the that. Musical? Yeah. I don't care if it's terrible. <laughs> as long as I just know everything about her. Yeah. And the thing is, there's you. I mean, if you get Meryl Streep in it, there's no way that's terrible. No. Impossible. She's a star. She is a star, but I don't know. Like That's cool. I love she, that. I think she's had an incredible journey, and that's, you know, everyone is, I feel like she's a, someone who everybody just wants to know what happened. Yeah. Like, how did she get to where she is? How is she this incredible woman that could win an Oscar and just be like, oh, I want it again, but yet it's so genuine. Or be like, why did you give this to me when yeah. they have all these people here? I'm just like, you're amazing. Yeah, and it's you're right. It's the genuineness of yeah. it. Because someone could say the exact same things that she said, and you'd be like, right. oh, come on, like you're lying. And like how many stories have been, musicals have been about an actual actor rather than a singer? Yeah. Like, you know, it's 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 not common to see a huge musical about an actor. Totally. More about a recording artist or, I don't know, a musician or something. Yeah. So, yeah. Love it. Meryl Street. Cool. Uh, if you could live for a week as a different animal, what animal would it be? A dolphin. Yeah. I've always loved dolphins. Dolphins are cool. And it they're would, up to something that we don't know. They're crazy intelligent. Like, they are literally aliens of the planet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, they just don't need... And they don't need us stuff. So that's why they do the dolphin yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I always well, said I was going to be a marine biologist. <laughs> Did not do well in science class. <laughs> uh, cool. So, song you've sung the most at auditions? <laughs> uh, it takes two. Uh, from from hairspray. Oh, of course. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. <laughs> And hooked on a feeling. Really? Yeah, I got to stop singing those two. That's so funny. <laughs> I love it. Those are jams. Yeah. Um, and then a show that you wish was produced more. Oh. Um. I would have to say, oh, uh, uh, um, moving out. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I, yeah, it had a, it had a length to it, but I feel like it it could have kept going. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Have you done that show? I haven't, but I I auditioned for it when I was sixteen, and I made it to the very very end, and I just I looked too young. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, Twyla Tharp was like sitting this close to me and she was just like, I would love to have, no, I was 19. Yeah. I was 19. And she just said, you're, you're everything we want in the show. I would die to have you in it, but you just look too young. Interesting. And I was like, <laughs> oh. but yeah, so I, that one helped, that was an amazing experience. Cool. I love it. Yeah. Well, a very successful lightning round. Nice job. Oh, I'm glad it was. Yeah. So I'll pause this and then we'll uh, just finish up. Perfect.